Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if spatial sound is not available on this device error you're coming across on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by right clicking on our speaker icon near the bottom right corner of our screen. So it should be in our taskbar. So you want to right click on that and then select spatial sound. If you see an option to turn it on or Windows Sonic for headphones, feel free to select that. So appreciate for that and how to resolve that if that's what your issue is. Otherwise you can go ahead and open up sound settings. So just left click on that. Select the sound option on the left side if it doesn't automatically take you over there. And then we're going to scroll down on the right underneath related settings and we're going to select a sound control panel. Now select whatever your headphones are in here, so I don't actually have them hooked up because I'm using two machines here, so I really can't show both. But you just want to select your headphones or speakers, perhaps, whatever you want to use your spatial sound for, and select properties. And now that you're in here, you want to select the spatial sound tab, and then just click inside this drop-down arrow, and then select the Windows Sonic for headphones. Or again, if you had a different option, so if you had other devices that you wanted to hook up for with the spatial sound, you want to go ahead and select that. And that's pretty straightforward. So just select apply and OK once you're done with that. And that's pretty much it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. If that did not work for you, another thing you can try would be if you open up a web browser. I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to this audio driver from Microsoft. You just go ahead and just select the download option from there. It's pretty big, it's about 311 megabytes, and then you just would extract the driver from there and go ahead and install it. So pretty straightforward process of how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory, I should say. So again, do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.